Chapter 756, Meeting Again After Five Years Lin Dong's laughter had a somewhat complicated flavor to it as it echoed across the somewhat quiet treasure-seeking district. Soon after, quite a number of people looked towards the hand he had extended towards Ling King Zhu, and were all momentarily stunned. Did this fellow not know just who was standing before him? She was one of the most dazzling younger generation member in Eastern Xian region. Countless young geniuses from various super sects had tried everything in their power just to make this beauty smile. However, not a single person could get close to her to this day. Yet, this fellow actually extended his hand in such a manner. Who did he think he was? Of course, they were not the only ones who felt so. Even Wang Yan, Ying Xiao Xiao and the rest were stunned by Lin Dong's actions. If she ignored him in front of such a huge crowd, wouldn't he end up making a fool of himself? However, Lin Dong completely ignored the various strange gazes from around him. His eyes merely contained a trace of complicated feelings as he quietly stared at this beautiful lady, who seemed to have become even colder and prettier as compared to five years ago. The scene from back then once again surged out from deep within his mind. It was as though it had occurred yesterday. Ling Qingzhu's clear eyes were also staring at Lin Dong. His young face no longer possessed the same childish glow from back then. Moreover, when he looked at her, his bright eyes no longer avoided her own. This was because the current him had the qualifications to ignore the dazzling halo around her. It was an exchange of of gazes of equals. Ling Qingzhu's eyelashes gently blinked. She was aware of just how much effort this young man before her had put in over the past five years in order to reach this stage. Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace, Ling Qingzhu. Her quiet lake-like eyes finally rippled slightly at this moment. After which, Ling Qingzhu extended her delicate hand in front of those numerous stunned eyes and gently shook Lin Dong's hand. The touch between the two of them was as cool as jade while unease flowed under that calm surface. The touch of their hands was as icy smooth as jade, while a coldness appeared to seep into their bones. At this moment, the sunlight was scattering down from high above in the sky, appearing just like a light pillar that wrapped around the two. This scene was somewhat dazzling. However, their gentle handshake merely lasted for a moment, before both parties simultaneously withdrew their hands. Lin Dong could sense the surrounding gazes instantly turn searing hot after he withdrew his hand. It appeared as though they wanted to pierce thousands of holes into his body. Congratulations! You have accomplished what you promised back then. Lin Qingzhu withdrew her hand into her sleeve. Her hand was curled slightly and appeared slightly moist. After which, she looked at the young man before her and softly said. I was wrong. Lin Dong mouth parted into a smile. To make a prideful lady like her utter such words, the sense of achievement that he felt was even more pleasant than having forced Lei Qian to withdraw miserably earlier. Don't worry, I do not dare to say that statement yet. Lin Dong smilingly said. He could vaguely sense a powerful ripple from within Ling Qingzhu's body. That fluctuation was even stronger than Lei Qian's. Clearly, there was still a gap between the current him and her despite his best efforts. If you say it, it is likely that you will not be able to participate in the great sect competition. Ling Qingzhu replied in an indifferent manner. However, the fluctuation that flashed across her clear eyes quietly revealed that she was indeed a little affected by his words. The onlookers were all baffled by their conversation. However, the two of them understood it very well. Both of them clearly knew that if Lin Dong was to utter those words now, it would end up causing a frightening commotion. Lin Dong would also likely become a thorn in the eyes of many young genius from various super sects. This was obviously neither the time nor the place to display his youthful arrogance. Perform well during the great sect competition. It is not easy to deal with Yuan Gate. Ling Qingzhu was clearly not accustomed to speaking for so long with a man in front of such a large crowd. Hence, she merely softly spoke those words before turning around and to leave. I will find an opportunity to utter those words. Lin Dong suddenly said as he watched Ling Qingzhu turn around. You should say it after you are certain that you can keep your life after saying them. 
Ling Qingzu's body paused. After which, her toes pressed gently on the ground. She immediately turned into a ray of light that quickly rushed off into the distance. After Ling Qingzu's departure, the eyes of this entire district immediately gathered on Lin Dong. Although the conversation between the two of them was completely baffling, it seemed to imply that this was not the first time that Lin Dong and Ling Qingzu had met. Moreover, their conversation indicated that they did not have a simple relationship. There was something fishy between the two of them. Some looked at each other and formed a conclusion that caused them to feel extreme displeased in their hearts. He is actually acquainted with Ling Qingzu, Wang Yan muttered in shock. Ying Xiaoxiao nodded slightly. She glanced at Lin Dong's back in a peculiar manner. After which, she turned her head and looked at the young lady beside her, who had suddenly turned mute. Are you all right? Ying Xiaoxiao softly sighed within her heart. It was likely that quite a number of young ladies would feel deflated in front of Ling Qingzu, who was outstanding in every aspect. The young lady gently shook her head in front of Ying Xiaoxiao's eyes. Soon after, she lifted her lips. She raised her head, her large eyes staring at the spot where Ling Qingzu had disappeared. After which, she turned her head and softly said to Ying Xiaoxiao, I will become even more outstanding than her. Ying Xiaoxiao was momentarily startled. When she looked at that young lady's bright and beautiful face, she seemed to see an icy blue hue rising in the latter's eyes bit by bit. Ying Xiaoxiao was somewhat taken aback. It truly seemed as if the young lady before her would undergo a complete metamorphosis one day. At that time, it was likely that she would become even more dazzling than Ling Qingzu. Big Sis believes in you. Ying Xiaoxiao did not know where this emotion sprouted from. However, she was clearly quite pleased when she saw that Ying Huan Huan did not feel dejected because of Ling Qingzu's appearance. Immediately, she rubbed the young lady's head and softly laughed. Ying Huan Huan laughed sweetly, while the icy blue hue within her eyes quietly disappeared. However, it was likely that even she herself might not have sensed that in the depths of her pupils, jet black had slowly started to merge with that icy blue. Due to Ling Qingzu's appearance, this young lady, who typically went with the flow, seemed to have awoken the pride deep within her bones, and this caused certain changes within her to accelerate. At this moment, Lin Dong had also withdrawn his gaze. He immediately inhaled a deep breath of air. The meeting five years later was not as explosive as he had imagined. The two of them had calmly looked at each other and conversed in a calm manner. After which, they had parted in a similarly calm manner. However, this was good. Lin Dong smiled. Although the current him was completely different compared to five years ago, he was still not very stunning in the eyes of Ling Qingzu, whose eyes were already used to seeing countless geniuses. The reason the latter had displayed such emotion was likely because of how vastly different Lin Dong's status and power was now compared to five years ago. Although the unexpected occurrence back then forced the two of them into an absurd situation that caught them both off guard, Lin Dong was not foolish enough to believe that a lady like Ling Qingzu would swear her undying love to him because of such an incident. A, a proud phoenix like her would never be retained by even the most gorgeous sycamore tree. Lin Dong turned around and saw those strange gazes that Wang Yan's group were directing at him. He involuntarily coughed dryly and spread out his hands. You know her? Wang Yan involuntarily asked. He felt like he was speaking too much today. It was as though he had completely changed from his usual quiet and lonely self. However, he had no choice. The feats that Lin Dong had accomplished today caused him to involuntarily speak a little more. We met once five years ago in Great Yan Empire. Lin Dong gently nodded and said. Wang Yan, Ying Xiaoxiao and the others exchanged glances. They clearly did not expect that the two of them had met five years ago. However, there should have been a huge difference in status between the two of them back then. Yet, they had still met. The group wondered just what happened between the both of them. From the looks it, it was obvious that it was no ordinary meeting. Let's go. We should also head back. Lin Dong did not dwell on this topic. 
He immediately waved his hand and was just about to leave when his eyes drifted towards the stone within the light barrier, where the grey-clothed middle-aged man was at earlier. At this moment, there were over a dozen light clusters on the stone. A powerful fluctuation was being emitted from those light clusters. Clearly, they were powerful soul treasures. However, Lin Dong's eyes did not linger for long on those light clusters. Instead, his eyes shifted and finally landed in a corner. There was a somewhat dimmer light cluster at that spot. The light cluster contained a palm-sized dark red damaged copper cauldron. The stone talisman within his body seemed to ripple when Lin Dong's eyes landed on the dark red damaged copper cauldron. That fluctuation was extremely slight, but it was still detected by Lin Dong. Immediately, his eyes focused in an unnoticeable fashion. In the next moment, after a slight hesitation, he lifted his foot and walked forward. He did not hide his intention as he held the copper cauldron in his hand. Immediately, he lifted his head and smiled towards that grey-clothed middle-aged man. What is the price of this object? Chapter 757, Does He Want to Die? The middle-aged man atop the stone was obviously startled by Lin Dong's question. Shortly after, his line of sight fluttered to the dull red damaged copper cauldron in Lin Dong's hands before he asked with a faint smile, Oh! Why are you interested in it? I gained an interest while browsing. Lin Dong chuckled. He naturally knew everyone here was extremely experienced. Although they did not know exactly what every item fished out from Unique Devil Region did, they were very vigilant. After all, there were cases where items which looked broken, actually turned out to be invaluable treasures. Hearing Lin Dong's reply, the middle-aged man narrowed his eyes a little, before sending his penetrating gaze towards the dull red damaged cauldron. Only after quite a long while did he slowly retract his gaze. He had already done a lot of research, and only after he failed to uncover anything unique about them, did he choose to hawk these items. This was especially the case for the bronze cauldron as there was not the single bit of fluctuation within. Therefore, it was definitely not a pure Yuan treasure which had its brilliance concealed. Do you know what it is? As the middle-aged man was wrinkling his forehead, Lin Dong waved the bronze cauldron in his hand, before asking him this question. If I knew, perhaps I wouldn't even sell it said the middle-aged man with a smile. How much is it? asked Lin Dong once again in a soft voice. The middle-aged man hesitated for a while. Promptly, his eyes faintly sparkled before he replied, 10 million Nirvana pills. After he spoke, an uproar emerged among the Dao sect disciples behind Lin Dong, as they stared at the middle-aged man in anger. This fellow did not even know anything about this item, yet he actually dared to quote such an outrageous price. Sir. Aren't you a little too greedy? asked Lin Dong while he faintly wrinkled his brows. The prices of the items that we sell here, especially those of unknown origin, are quite high. That is because we have to shoulder the burden if a seemingly useless item turns out to be an invaluable treasure. The middle-aged man shrugged his shoulders and replied, You have to consider my point of view as well. If this item truly turns out to be a gem, how much blood will I vomit then? As if there are so many invaluable dirt-covered treasures covered in this world said Lin Dong casually. He did not wish to say anything more. After hesitating for a moment, he took out a Kyunkin bag. However, after he took out his Kyunkin bag, his hand stiffened as he suddenly recalled something. All his Nirvana pills were used by Little Martin to deploy the Great Array. Although Ying Huan Huan had also volunteered her Nirvana pills, Little Martin only took enough pills from her to supplement the quantity that Lin Dong lacked. Therefore, the current Lin Dong was basically broke. Just as Lin Dong's body stiffened and he started to feel awkward, a jade-like hand gave a soft wave, throwing a Kyunkin bag at the middle-aged man dressed in grey atop of the stone. Receiving the Kyunkin bag, the middle-aged man gave it a glance before looking at the slender and elegant young lady standing behind Lin Dong. Following that, he sent a smile towards Lin Dong and said, You have good luck with women young man. Lin Dong tilted his head and looked towards Ying Huan Huan as he smiled, Thanks. 
Proper behavior is based on reciprocity replied Ying Huan Huan casually. Her big eyes shot a glance at Lin Dong before retracting. From the looks of it, the young lady seemed a little upset. Lin Dong gawked faintly before replying with a single O. Standing up, he conveniently kept the dull red damaged bronze cauldron into his Qunkin bag, before smiling at Ying Xiao Xiao and the rest, we should leave too. After saying that, he took the lead by turning around to walk away. At his back, the Dao sect disciples also flocked and followed behind. Ying Huan Huan looked at Lin Dong's back before her pearly teeth bit her lips. A sliver of complaint seemingly flashed past her eyes, however, it was at this moment that she was dragged along by Ying Xiao Xiao. When Lin Dong and the rest returned to their inn, they saw Qi Lei, Chen Zhen, and the other two hall masters standing there with stern expressions on their faces. Behind them were quite a number of Dao sect disciples. Upon realizing that Lin Dong and the rest had returned, all of them clearly heaved a sigh of relief. Did you guys clash with members from Yuan Gate? asked Qi Lei in a low voice with a frown as he stared at Lin Dong, Ying Xiao Xiao, and the rest. Lin Dong helpless nodded his head and was just about to speak when Qi Lei opened his mouth again, I heard that you managed to force Lei Qian to back off. Lin Dong gawked. This piece of news has traveled really fast. Slightly hesitating, he nodded his head again and said, I used a little trick. Haha, <laughs> just like I told you. How can this brat be that easy to deal with? He has a belly filled with tricks and even Lei Qian would not be able to easily deal with him. Right after Lin Dong replied, Chen Zhen could not resist and started to laugh. His laughter contained an unconcealable satisfaction. Lin Dong and the rest stared in astonishment at the four headmasters who had suddenly started chuckling. Looking at their appearance, it truly seemed like they were not here to lecture them. Well done. Although you have to consider the big picture sometimes, those despicable scoundrels do need to be taught a lesson said Chi Lei with a smile as he rubbed his chin. In response to this scene, the only thing Lin Dong could do was to dryly laugh twice. The great sect competition has yet to begin, yet you guys have already clashed with Yuan Gate. If you think about it, when you guys meet again in Unique Devil Region, there will definitely be quite a few clashes. At that time, all of you will have to be careful said Chen Zhen as his face started to turn serious after laughing. Yes. Lin Dong, Ying Xiao Xiao and the rest all nodded their heads. They knew that there was a deep grudge between them and Yuan Gate. In addition to today's incident, the number of conflicts that would arise when they met in the future would definitely increase. Okay, you should all go and have a rest now. The Great Sect competition will start in two days. During these two days, you all should restrain yourselves and not cause any further problems. Unique Devil City is a chaotic place filled with all sorts of individuals. Don't cause any unnecessary trouble said Chi Lei with a smile as he waved his hands. Yes. Upon hearing his words, all of the disciples nodded their heads before scattering. This brat is truly full of surprises. Lei Qian's body has likely begun to produce life Qi already. However, he was still forced to back off by Lin Dong, looking at the direction which Lin Dong and the rest had scattered, Qi Lei could not help but mumble his thoughts. This little fellow has quite a few tricks up his sleeves. It is not so easy to deal with him said Chen Zhen with a smile. However, we cannot be complacent. Lei Qian is the weakest amongst the three little kings of Yuan Gate. The little Yuan King and little Spirit King are the more problematic ones. Before the great sect competition begins, we should warn Lin Dong and the rest to be more careful said Qi Lei while shaking his head. Upon hearing his words, the smiles on the faces of Chen Zhen and the other two hall masters turned slightly restrained before sighing softly. The three little kings of Yuan Gate were indeed formidable opponents. They did not know whether Lin Dong and the rest would be able to handle them if they were to encounter them in Unique Devil Region. They could only hope that they would not suffer the same disastrous loss as they did in the previous Great Sect competition. Night fell and gradually enveloped the enormous unique Devil City. Meanwhile, the clamor during the day gradually started to die down under the cooling night breeze. 
In another corner of the city was a expansive courtyard with quite a few individuals shuttling back and forth. This was the lodging area for Yuan Gate in Unique Devil City. Currently, there were three figures within a quiet courtyard located deep in the large compound. One of them was the Little Thunder King, Lei Qian that had crossed blows with Lin Dong previously. In front of Lei Qian, a handsome man dressed in white robes reclined on a patch of grass with a leaf was hanging out of his mouth. With his hands placed behind his head, he lazily watched the night sky. After a long while, his gaze fluttered before he shot a glance at Lei Qian and said, I heard that you were forced to run with your tail between your legs by a new Dao sect disciple in the treasure-seeking district. I was merely careless and was hit by that brat. In a real fight, I'll crush all of the bones in that brat's body within ten moves. Lei Qian frowned before he coldly chuckled. Ha, you are the only one capable of losing a sure bet, am I right boss? said the man in white with a grin on his, face before tilting his head to look behind. There was man dressed in green sitting quiet with his legs crossed. If one was to talk about appearances, he would definitely not be as elegant as the man in white. However, he was well worth a second look. His pair of eyes were prominently long and narrow, giving him a very favorable look. At this time, his head was bent downwards as he slowly wiped the iron sword in his hand. It was as if he did not have any interest in the dispute between Lei Qian and the man in white. If you feel that you have been disrespected, go and take back your face by yourself during the great sect competition. You will meet him there eventually said the man in green while focusing on the iron sword in his hand, before giving a faint smile. His smile looked like the edge of a sword. The debt will naturally be claimed. Said Lei Qian with gloom filling his eyes. He suddenly said, in addition, that Brad called Lin Dong seemed to have met up with Ling King Zhu today. From the looks of it, they seem to be quite close. Right after he said those words, a smile that was not a smile appeared on the man dressed in white, before he tilted his head and looked towards the man dressed in green who was wiping his iron sword. The speed at which he wiped the iron sword subtly slowed down, before he faintly wrinkled his eyebrows. In the next moment, he raised his head and looked at Lei Qian. As if he was talking to himself, he muttered, Does he, want to die? After his soft voice rang out, a gale suddenly swept across the courtyard. Instantly, the ground was sliced to pieces by dozens of deep slashes which depths cannot be measured. When they saw this scene, Lei Qian and the man dressed in white looked at each other, before they shrugged their shoulders. It seems like the Dao sect will suffer a bloodbath during the upcoming Great Sect competition. Chapter 758, Burning Sky Ancient Stash Over the next two days, the population in Unique Devil City soared at an extremely terrifying speed. Not only did members from the eight super sects arrive one after another, but even members from other renowned factions also hurried over. In an instant, the interior of Unique Devil City was completely packed with countless experts, causing it to become extremely chaotic. Chi Lei and the rest had clearly tightened their control amidst this chaos. Hence, most disciples from Dao sect had to quietly remain at their inn to train and had no chance to go out to stir trouble. Although Chi Lei's group did not forcefully restrain Lin Dong and the other top disciples, they repeatedly instructed them to be careful in order to guard against a sneak attack. Currently, Unique Devil City was extremely chaotic. Should any problems occur, it was likely that even the four of them would have difficulty handling it. Lin Dong was also clearly aware of the current situation within Unique Devil City. Hence, he quietly remained in his room during these two days despite not being grounded and he seldom headed out. Lin Dong also took advantage of the peace that came before the eminent great battle to study some other things. For example, the strange copper cauldron that he had recently obtained. Lin Dong was seated on a bed within the quiet room. At this moment, he was holding the damaged copper cauldron which he had bought from the treasure-seeking district at a high price. He frowned slightly while his eyes continuously swept across it. Sigh. This continued for half an hour before Lin Dong involuntarily sighed. He rubbed his somewhat teary eyes, while his face was filled with dissatisfaction. 
Earlier, he had tried various methods to study this dark red copper cauldron. However, he did not manage to discover anything special about it. The material of this copper cauldron was not unique and there was also the absence of any energy fluctuation within it. Lin Dong was certain that this thing was definitely not a soul treasure. It seemed like his dream of finding a great steel had been dashed. Some things amiss. Lin Dong played with the copper cauldron in his hand as he muttered to himself. When he saw this thing for the first time, he clearly sensed the stone talisman within his body trembling gently. The stone talisman only displayed such a reaction when it found an extraordinary object. Lin Dong frowned. He placed the dark red damaged copper cauldron in front of him. It was possible to see some chaotic drawings on the surface of the copper cauldron. Perhaps it was because of the erosion over the years, but these drawings were extremely faded. Hence, Lin Dong was unable to obtain any useful information from them. This copper cauldron, just what is its use? Lin Dong felt his head ache a little. A long while later, he finally gave up and shook his head. As he was preparing to keep the cauldron into his kyunkin bag, his eyes suddenly drifted towards the light in the room. Immediately, he was stunned for a moment. After which, his eyes narrowed. This copper cauldron, seems to be lacking a flame. This thought flashed across Lin Dong's mind. He hesitated for a moment, before he looked at the damaged appearance of the copper cauldron. It did not seem like it could endure the heat. Should things take a turn for the worse, his 10 million nirvana pills would be wasted. If it ends up being broken, then so be it. However, Lin Dong was not an indecisive person. After hesitating for a moment, he clenched his teeth. With a grasp of his hand, a cluster of fierce nirvana flames rose from his palm. This flame could be formed by anyone who was a nirvana stage expert. Chi. Lin Dong flicked his finger. A wisp of flame entered the copper cauldron at lightning speed. After which, the flame was swiftly released. Soon after, Lin Dong could see that the copper cauldron was starting to melt. Immediately, his face turned slightly green. It seemed that his idea was indeed wrong. Moreover, based on its damaged appearance, it was possible that someone had already tried this method. However, it was likely that they had realized that it was useless midway, and hence stopped. Lin Dong shook his head in disappointment. He had finally lost all interest. With a wave of his sleeve, he threw the burning copper cauldron into the brazier in the room. After which, he slowly shut his eyes and began cultivating. After Lin Dong had entered a state of cultivation, the copper cauldron began to melt at an increasing pace. In the end, it even turned into liquid copper that dripped downwards. The dark red copper liquid increased. In the end, the copper cauldron was completely melted down. The nirvana flame had also scattered due to the exhaustion of nirvana chi. Only some slowly flowing dark red copper liquid remained. Buzz buzz. Numerous dark red lights suddenly shot out from the copper liquid while it flowed. Finally, they intertwined with each other in the air. Seated on the bed, as if he had sensed something, Lin Dong's tightly shut eyes suddenly opened. He was somewhat dazed as he watched the dark red lights intertwining in the air. This. Lin Dong was startled when he saw this scene. After which, he glanced at the completely melted metal cauldron, and only then did he come to a sudden realization. One must completely destroy it before one could find what was hidden within. Could this be considered as without destruction there can be no progress? However, one would require quite a great amount of courage in order go through with such an act. If it was not because Lin Dong was completely disappointed earlier, it was likely that he would have difficulty personally melting the cauldron into liquid copper. Before Lin Dong, there was likely others who had also tried this method. Ultimately, that person lacked the endurance or the heartlessness to see things to the end. Regardless, the current Lin Dong was exceptionally pleased. This outcome that he had haphazardly reached clearly exceeded his expectation. However, what is this? Lin Dong's joyous eyes contained some uncertainty. He stared at the lights crisscrossing each other in the air. 
those lights entwined with each other. Finally, they appeared to have formed some strange lines and pictures. That appearance, it seemed to be a map. A map. Lin Dong eyes focused slightly. Immediately, a thought flashed past his mind before his mental energy whizzed out. It captured an image of the map of light and stored it in his Nguyen palace. After Lin Dong had done this, the bright red lines began to shrink before finally agglomerating into a dark red palm-sized light token in front of his eyes. Lin Dong extended his hand and the dark red light token landed in his hand. His eyes glanced over it and he was able to see a picture of a flame spreading across the light token. There were four unusually ancient flaming characters vaguely present on the picture. Burning Sky Ancient Stash Lin Dong stared at the four ancient flaming characters. After which, he read each word out loud. In the next instant, his eyes suddenly brightened. This copper cauldron actually hid an ancient treasure map. Excellent. Lin Dong lips parted as he laughed. Although he was unaware of what this burning sky ancient stash was, it was likely not an ordinary treasure trove since it was located within unique devil region. It would not be surprising even if such a place had a pure Yuan treasure. Although the trashy item did not turn into a treasure, the appearance of this ancient treasure map had completely made up for it. The value of an ancient treasure trove was definitely comparable to a pure Yuan treasure. He did not lose out in this transaction. The ability of the stone talisman did not disappoint Lin Dong. After entering Unique Devil Region, I can discuss this with Senior Sister Xiao Xiao and the rest. We can look for this so-called Burning Sky Ancient Stash together. Lin Dong fondled his chin and muttered to himself. After all, the current situation was different from when he had entered the ancient battlefield back then. He was no longer alone and there was now a large group of fellow disciples who were willing to follow him. He alone was also unable to stomach an entire ancient treasure trove. It would be better for him to share it with his fellow disciples. At that time, their overall strength would increase and it was likely that they would face a lot less trouble. Lin Dong quietly smiled when he thought of this. He carefully kept the light token into his storage ring. This object likely a special function. Otherwise, it would not have been hidden so well. After resolving the secret of the copper cauldron, Lin Dong clearly felt extremely pleased. However, he did not stop here. Instead, he mused for a moment before he suddenly clapped his hands together. A light glow appeared in his hand and transformed into an extremely obscure and complicated light formation. This formation was so mysterious that it caused one to be dazzled. Even the current Lin Dong was unable to see through its mystery. This was naturally the ancient universe formation that was within Lin Dong's body. The ancient universe formation had greatly contributed to Lin Dong's ability to contend against nine Yuan Nirvana stage experts with his seven Yuan Nirvana stage strength. It was because of it that Lin Dong was able to merge Yuan power and mental energy together to unleash an even greater power. However, ever since Lin Dong had obtained it, he had not discovered any other uses besides merging Yuan power and mental energy. Nevertheless, over this period of time, Lin Dong had realized some facts after having quietly studied it for a long time. The ancient universe formation could merge energy when it was rotated clockwise. However, if one was to rotate it anti-clockwise, Lin Dong discovered that the ripple from the ancient universe formation would undergo a complete change. At the same time, that fluctuation also possessed quite a shocking and miraculous effect. That was the power to split. Clockwise would lead to merger while anti-clockwise would lead to separation. Lin Dong smilingly watched the slowly rotating ancient universe formation, while the corners of his lips lifted. He was aware that this discovery would definitely aid him tremendously in the upcoming Great Sect competition. Chapter 759, Gathering of Monsters as the explosive atmosphere in Unique Devil City seemed to reach an almost crazed state, two days finally sped by. As the first ray of sunlight pierced through the clouds and illuminated the land, a frenzy undoubtedly erupted throughout the entire Unique Devil City. Ear-piercing wind sounds continuously rang through the skies as figure after figure rushed to enter Unique Devil region like screaming locusts. 
At a place not far to the north of Unique Devil City, the ground had completely transformed into an extremely gloomy darkness. A smell that caused one's soul to feel uncomfortable spread out from the ground. Unique Devil Region was enveloped by an extremely frightening array that originated from ancient times. It was said that this array was created by the combined efforts of many elite experts of that era, and that this array had sealed this piece of land for countless years. However, there was nothing in this world that could withstand the erosion of time. Although this array was extremely terrifying, under the passing of time, a few broken holes that appeared. Thus, people are able to enter from certain points. The outskirts of Unique Devil City was one of these points. This was a stretch of black plains. At the end of the plains, traces of distortion had appeared, a clear indicator of where the plains ended. Right now, there was a huge crowd that blotted the skies above the plains. Hurried wind sounds continuously sounded out in the distance, clearly expanding the already frighteningly vast crowd present. Swoosh! A large group of figures shot forward, before finally appearing at a place around a thousand meters from the spatial protective screen. Revealing their appearances, they were the Dao sect disciples. Lin Dong and the rest were naturally among this group. Truly a magnificent sight. Floating in the air, the group looked at the vast endless crowd surrounding them, before they involuntarily smacked their lips. This was undoubtedly a grand occasion for Eastern Xian region. The only words that could describe this scene would be vast and mighty. Feeling rather shocked, Lin Dong nodded his head. Amongst the figures that blotted the skies, he could sense that there were quite a few obscure and powerful auras. One could tell that there were crouching tigers and hidden dragons amongst them, however, no one knew how many there were. Sure enough, the great sect competition was a gathering of monsters. Lin Dong's eyes swept across the skies, before suddenly coming to a rest on a group of figures far away with long swords on their back. Their bodies gave off swift and fierce sword chi. It was so sharp to the point that it seemed able to pierce through the world. Lin Dong's eyes swept across the group of figures before focusing on the front of the group. There stood a man who did not seem to look anything special, however, the sharp aura from his body caused even Lin Dong's pupils to shrink a little. Those are the sword sect disciples. They are headed by the most outstanding person amongst the sword sect's younger generation. Known as sword fanatic Xue Ling, he is also at the peak of the Nine Yuan Nirvana stage. It is rumored that he has successfully learned the sword saint arts of the sword sect, and his attacking prowess is extremely fearsome and ferocious just as Lin Dong's gaze landed on that man, standing beside him, Ying Xiao Xiao opened her mouth and explained. Oh, said Lin Dong as he faintly raised his eyebrows. He had heard of the sword saint arts. It was reputed to be a powerful martial art that was not inferior to the Sky Emperor's scripture. The people in white on the left as well as the people in yellow not far from them are the disciples from Divine Sect and Symbol Valley respectively. This time, the most formidable younger generation member of Divine Sect is a girl called Xue Wan. As for the disciple leading Symbol Valley, he is called Mao Shan. Both their mental energy capabilities have already reached the Nine Seal Heavenly Symbol Master level. Their attacking methods are intangible and unpredictable, making them extremely hard to deal with continued Ying Xiao Xiao as she pointed towards two different spots. Following her finger, Lin Dong turned and saw a girl in a white dress standing gracefully in front of the group of figures dressed in white. She looked rather refined, however, her most distinguishing feature was her snow-white hair. As a gentle breeze blew past, her hair was akin to snowflakes fluttering and dancing. Majestic and incorporeal mental energy undulated around her, causing even space itself to distort a little. Lin Dong's eyes rested on the girl named Xue Yan for a short while, before turning to the direction where the Symbol Valley members were located. At that spot, stood a youth wearing a large yellow robe. The surface of his yellow robe was filled with strange and weird symbols, while light faintly blossomed from it. From the looks of it, this yellow robe was actually a fairly powerful soul treasure. Furthermore, the mental energy fluctuations from his body were not the least bit inferior to the white hair girl. Nine Seal Heavenly Symbol Master 
Lin Dong faintly smacked his lips. His mental energy was merely at the Six Seal Heavenly Symbol Master level, and he was quite weak in comparison to the two of them. After all, Lin Dong had spent more time on Yuan power than mental energy. The people over there should be from Great Desolate Palace right? After sighing, Lin Dong looked towards another direction, where a group of burly chaps stood. Many of them had exposed arms, while the veins on their bodies were like dragons. Undulations radiated from their bodies like a great flood, causing them to look as if they were human-shaped demonic beasts. After sweeping his gaze across their bodies, Lin Dong's eyes came to a halt at the front of the group before gawking slightly. At that spot stood a rather thin man. As he stood in front of the group of intrepid giant bodies, he looked just like a kid. Such a contrast was extremely comical. Naturally, the startled expression on Lin Dong's face only lasted for a split second before dissipating, as he noticed the looks of respect the burly chaps gave to the thin man. Yup, that thin man is the most senior brother disciple of Great Desolate Palace, Wu Hong. Don't look down on his physique. His physical body has been already trained till an extremely intrepid level. It was said that there was once a Nine Yuan Nirvana stage expert that challenged him whose defenses were directly smashed by a single punch. Even his Nirvana golden body was completely broken, causing him to sustain serious injuries said Ying Xiao Xiao while nodding her head. As expected, this is a gathering of monsters, replied Lin Dong with a faint smile. To be able to become the most outstanding member amongst their peers within their individual sex, these people have truly proven their talent and capabilities. This great sect competition was truly going to be very interesting. Ying Xiao Xiao nodded her head and was just about to say something when her expression suddenly changed. As she gazed into the distance she said, the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace members have also arrived. Lin Dong also raised his head and looked towards the direction where wind sounds were present. After a few breaths time, a large group of figures appeared in the sky. Following the appearance of this group, the air above the plane started to grow restless as fiery gazes converged one after another on the front of the group of Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace Disciples. At that spot was a beautiful figure in a white dress akin to snow. Treading on a green lotus, and with a quiet and cold temperament akin to a fairy descending to the mortal realm, she was indeed Ling Qingzu. As Lin Dong gazed at Ling Qingzu, he involuntarily rubbed his nose. When she appeared, he noticed that a great half of the most outstanding disciples from the various sects had all turned to look at her. Within their gazes were unconcealable admiration. Looks like the words that Ling Qingzu had said two days ago was indeed not a lie. At as Lin Dong's gaze swept past Ling Qingzu, he suddenly exclaimed in shock. His surprised gaze had stopped at a spot behind Ling Qingzu. He had spotted the figure of a familiar young lady, it was Su Ro. Currently, the young lady was wearing a light green dress. Her face no longer had the previous timid look and a smile had appeared when she conversed with the senior and junior brother disciples around her. Looks like the young lady who had to pretend to toughen up while being reprimanded by the Lin Dong trio had finally grown up. In the distance, Su Ro who was talking to her senior and junior brother disciples seemed to have sensed something. Raising her head, she turned towards the direction of Dao sect. In the next moment, she spotted the gentle smile on the familiar face that was looking at her. Big Brother Lin Dong Su Ro gawked for a moment. Soon after, pleasant surprise and an excited smile appeared on her face. In the next moment, she waved at Lin Dong without care for the surrounding gazes. Looking at the exceptionally pleasantly surprised Su Ro, Lin Dong gave a faint smile in response. Su Ro's action were obviously discovered the the Dao sect disciples beside Lin Dong. Gawking for a while, they proceeded to look at Lin Dong in worship. Why did everyone know this guy? Your networking seems to reach rather far and wide, said Ying Xiao Xiao before she involuntarily shook her head. She looked to Ying Huan Huan, who was currently chatting with Ching Yat. She looked as if she was not aware of what was going on, however, Ying Xiao Xiao could discover a subtle change within her gaze which occasionally fluttered to a distant place. It was obvious that she could not completely ignoring this matter. 
A friend that I got to know during the Hundred Empire War explained Lin Dong with a smile, before shooting a look at Ying Huan Huan who was still refusing to speak to him. He secretly felt helpless, this little lady's sulking capabilities were indeed rather exceptional. At the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace area, Ling Qingzu was slightly startled due to Su Ro's actions, before asking in a soft voice, Do you know him? Yes, if not for big brother Lin Dong, during the Hundred Empire War, me and elder brother would have likely not reached the Hundred Empire Mountain replied Su Ro with a smile as she nodded her head. Big brother Lin Dong is formidable. It was obvious that he came from a low-rank empire, however, he managed to become the champion of the Hundred Empire War. In the end, when the Western Xian region attempted to capture the ancient realm, he forced our enemies to retreat by summoning three wind-lighting tribulations. Suro's face was filled with the color of worship. Seeing this, some of the male disciples around her felt slightly jealous. That was because they had never seen her reveal such an expression during her time in Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace, where her status was high like the afternoon sun. Ling Qingzu gently nodded her head, her eyebrows drooped slightly as she suppressed the slight fluctuation that flashed past her eyes. It seems like he had quite a few extraordinary experiences over all these years. Lin Dong gradually withdrew his gaze from the location of the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace, before turning his head towards another area in the sky. In a soft voice he spoke, the people from Yuan Gate have arrived. As his words faded, the expressions of the Dao sect disciples behind faintly sunk. They raised their heads and fixed their gazes on a particular spot in the sky. Swish swish. Under their gazes, hurried wind sounds quickly rang out as a black mass of figures burst in like black clouds in a rather overbearing manner, before finally appearing at a spot that was nearest to the spatial distortions. When this large group of figures appeared, Lin Dong's attention instantly went towards the front of this group of Yuan Gate disciples. At that position, three figures stood perfectly straight. An aura that rocketed through the sky slowly erupted from them causing the expressions of many people to change. The three little kings of Yuan Gate, the most outstanding existences amongst the younger generation members in eastern Xian region. The three most highly regarded individuals in the great sect competition had finally appeared. Chapter 760, Tit for Tat Hundreds of Yuan Gate disciples formed an orderly formation in the air. The majestic ripple that exuded from their bodies gathered together causing a muffled thunder to resound in the sky. It was a sight that would cause eyebrows to be raised. Three figures stood at the very front of all the Yuan Gate disciples. The auras from these three may not be as impressive when compared to the combined presence of the hundreds of people behind them, but they were as imposing as three large mountains that stood in front of the Yuan Gate disciples. No one dared to underestimate them. Lin Dong's eyes had also narrowed slightly due to the appearance of these three figures. He had once met the little lightning king, Lei Qian, amongst them. Therefore, his gaze directly looked towards the latter's left. There he saw a handsome white-clothed man that was holding a foldable fan. The fan was flapped slightly, giving him a graceful and scholarly appearance. However, the waves of powerful fluctuations seeping out from him allowed one to understand that it would be extremely foolish to treat him as a helpless scholar. He is the little spirit king, Ling Zhen, Ying Xiao Xiao Soft said. Her face was somewhat solemn as she stared at the white-clothed man. Lin Dong nodded slightly. His eyes had also become quite grave. He was able to sense that this little spirit king, Ling Zhen, seemed to be even more dangerous than Lei Qian. Yuan Gate was indeed worthy of being the strongest sect within the eastern Xian region. It was possible to see this just from the gap between the disciples from the various sects. However, the strongest of the Yuan Gate three little kings are not these two. Instead, it is little Yuan King Yuan Kang, Ying Xioxio's eyes were a little complicated. Her voice seemed slightly hoarse when she uttered this name. It was clear that the name gave her immense pressure. Lin Dong nodded quietly. Soon after, his eyes looked towards the spot between Lei Qian and Ling Zhen. A blue-clothed man with an ordinary appearance was standing there with a smile. 
his appearance was not as fearsome as what Lin Dong had imagined. However, countless gazes were gathered on the blue-clothed man while he smilingly stood in front of the Yuan Gate disciples. That ability to draw attention was not any weaker than Ling Qingzu's. Lin Dong glanced at the other super sects. The monsters from the various sects would have a somewhat unnatural expression when they looked at Yuan Kang. Caution flashed across their eyes. Their demeanor clearly indicated that they were extremely fearful of him. From this scene, even Lin Dong had no choice but to admit that the Yuan Kang's presence was indeed powerful. The leader of the Three Little Kings lived up to his reputation. The blue-clothed Yuan King turned his head under the focus of those uncountable gazes in the sky. After which, he threw his gaze towards the direction where the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace was located. Of course, to be specific, it was towards Ling King Zhu, who was standing on a green lotus. Ha <laughs> ha, this time around, it is indeed Ling King Zhu who is leading the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace. If we end up meeting in Unique Devil Region, I hope that Ling King Zhu will hold back a little. Yuan King looked at Ling King Zhu. That face, which was not handsome but still nevertheless attractive, involuntarily broke out into a smile. After which, he gently laughed. It must be said that this Yuan King was a man with great charm. Although he was not really handsome, his demeanor when he spoke caused one to appear to be bathed in the wines of spring. Without realizing it, the caution within one's heart would gradually weaken. Martial brother Yuan King is joking. King Zhu does not have that ability. Ling King Zhu lowered her long eyelash in response to Yuan King words and softly replied. After uttering those words, Ling King Zhu's eyes secretly glanced towards the distance without anyone noticing. It was the direction where Lin Dong currently was. King Zhu is really humble. If you go all out, even I might not be able to easily obtain victory. Yuan King laughed. After which, he withdrew his eyes a little. He turned his head and looked towards the direction where the disciples from the Dao sect were located. The moment that Yuan Kang's eyes looked over, Lin Dong was able to sense the bodies of all the Dao sect disciples behind him being momentarily tense up. Even the Yuan power within Ying Xiao Xiao and Wang Yan's bodies involuntarily circulated in a more hurried manner. Ying Xiao Xiao, Wang Yan, ha ha, all of you can be considered to be acquaintances, Yuan King smilingly looked at Ying Xiao Xiao and the rest as he spoke. The expressions of the Wang Yan duo sunk slightly. Although Yuan Chang's voice was gentle, they could sense the surging dark and cold bloodthirstiness beneath the surface. Yuan King once again smiled after seeing the expressions of the Ying Xiao Xiao duo. His eyes eventually paused on Lin Dong as those long eyes of his narrowed a little. I have heard that the champion of this Hundred Empire War has rejected the invitation of my Yuan Gate and entered Dao Sect instead. Now that I look at it, your Dao Sect had indeed managed to gain quite a lot. Yuan King smiled. His voice paused for a moment before continuing, this may be good as well, rather be the head of a chicken than the tail of a snake. Yuan Kang's laughter immediately caused the eyes of quite a number of Dao sect disciples to be furious. These words were saying that Lin Dong was only able to be a leader due to the weakness of their Dao sect. If Lin Dong had went to their Yuan gate instead, Lin Dong would only be ranked last. This fellow might appear amiable but his words were like needles hidden within cotton, piercing one until even one's bones would hurt. The original clamor in the sky had also become silent at this moment. Those members of the various super sects were watching this scene. The grudge between Yuan Gate and Dao sect was extremely deep. Everyone present was aware of it. However, they did not expect that hidden sparks and turmoil to appear the moment they met. However, from the looks of it, it seemed that Dao sect was unable to beat Yuan Gate. From the area where the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace was located, Ling King Zhu brows knitted together slightly. She glanced at Suo Ruo beside her. The latter's small face was covered with worry. Clearly, she was also aware of the gap between the disciples from Dao sect and Yuan Gate. Chicken head or snake tail? It is too early to come to a conclusion now. Lin Dong's expression did not contain the slightest fear in front of the many gathered gazes from all over the place. He laughed, 
Back then, didn't my Dao Sex Senior Zhou Tong also beat your Yuan Gate's three little kings till one was killed, one was injured and one had fled? Some uproar was stirred in the sky when these words were spoken. Quite a number of people had shocked filled faces. Clearly, they did not expect that Lin Dong actually dare to clash against Yuan King. Arrogant fool that does not know your limits. Don't tell me that you dare to compare yourself to Zhou Tong. Lei Qian laughed coldly and mocked. Even Zhou Tong had difficulty escaping from being killed by my Yuan Gate. The little spirit king, Wang Ling, who was holding a foldable fan, said with a smile. A sect master of Yuan Gate can lower himself to attack a disciple of Dao sect. This has indeed caused others to be dumbfounded. Lin Dong laughed. Ling Zhen and Lei Qian frowned slightly when they heard these words. The smiles on their faces turned a little unnatural. The Zhou Tong from back then did indeed only possess the status of a disciple. However, he had ended up forcing the sect master of Yuan Gate to intervene. Only then was he killed. This matter had ended up attracting some hidden ridicule, causing the reputation of Yuan Gate to be damaged. It could be considered a sore point in the hearts of their disciples. During the time that Lei Qian's expression was gloomy and could not help but wish to say something, Yuan King in front of him waved his hand. His long narrow eyes contained a small smile as he stared at Lin Dong. However, the smile was filled with a dark and intense chillness. Looks like we have not put your Dao sect disciples sufficiently in their place over these years. Yuan King curled his mouth and smiled. Immediately, he shook his head. His eyes were like that of a snake as they swept over all the members of Dao sect. He softly said, in that case, all of you should pray for yourselves during this great sect competition. His voice did not reveal any overtly vicious words. However, the ill intent could be clearly heard by everyone. Some things should not be said till the end. The smile on Lin Dong's face withdrew bit by bit. Both of his eyes vaguely contained a dark glow surging within them. Under his sleeves, his fists had also tightened. He was aware that he would have to really go all out during this great sect competition no matter what. You are bold. I like that. When the time comes, I will say these words to you once again. Hopefully, it will not be the last words that you hear in your life. Yuan King laughed faintly. After which, he slowly withdrew his eyes. His fingers were crossed and placed in front of him. Lei Qian and Ling Zhen, who were familiar with his character, revealed a cold smile on their lips when they saw this. They were aware that such a moment was when the murderous desire within Yuan Kang's heart had reached its peak. Clearly, Lin Dong had already provoked a murderous intent from Yuan Kang. Dao sect was truly unlucky. Lin Dong also withdrew his gaze when Yuan King did so. He turned his head to glance at Ying Xiao Xiao and the rest. Their faces did not show even the slightest dissatisfaction because of his earlier provocations towards Yuan King. Instead, quite a number of them had icy cold stern expressions. Can that Yuan King be considered the strongest person amongst the youngest generation of the eastern Qian region? Lin Dong inquired softly. Ying Xiao Xiao thought for a moment after hearing this. She immediately shook her head and said, There is one person who is not weaker than him. Who? The first on the sex wanted list, Ghost Mask Chen Gui. Ying Xiao Xiao said. Chen Gui. Lin Dong frowned. It was clear that this was the first time he had heard this name. He is not a disciple of any sect. Moreover, he cannot even be considered someone from the eastern Xian region. This person appears and disappears like a ghost. An ordinary person would have difficulty finding his traces. It is rumored that he had once exchanged blows with Yuan King but Yuan King was unable to emerge victorious. From the side, Wang Yan opened his mouth and explained. So it's like this. Lin Dong muttered to himself. It seemed that this eastern Xian region was really filled with many hidden experts. He wondered whether Chen Gui would appear during this great sect competition. The unique devil region is about to be opened. Ying Xiao Xiao suddenly said while Lin Dong was deep in thought. Lin Dong raised his head when he heard this. 
he saw some ripples start to appear on the spatial barrier in the distance. This unique devil region was about to open. While the unique devil region was in a state where it was about to open, two rays of light flashed past the sky 500 kilometers away at lightning speed. Junior Sister Disciple, there is no need to be too anxious. We will make it in time for the Great Sect competition. The two rays of light were positioned one behind the other. The light figure behind suddenly paused for a moment, before speaking somewhat helplessly. That light figure was revealed the moment it paused. There was half a ghost mask on his face, giving him a somewhat eerie ghost-like appearance. Who is as slow as you? There is no need to follow me if you do not wish to go. I can go by myself. However, that light figure at the front did not slow down because of this. Soon after, a clear young lady's voice was emitted. Immediately, her speed suddenly quickened as she rushed towards the horizon. That ghost mask person involuntarily laughed bitterly and shook his head when he saw this. He could only follow behind quickly. The conversation of these two echoed in a faint manner. Is Junior Sister Disciple looking for someone? Who is it? Is that person, very important? Uh uh. However, you will know just who that person is after he is found, ah but I will likely end up being scolded once I find him. You should be a little smarter when the time comes. Otherwise, I will tell teacher that you failed to protect me adequately when we return. Even teacher is reluctant to scold you, he, ugh, alright.